So it's front line on 2479 TV. And just like I said before, my name is Frank Lidlow. We have two beautiful, let me to say, you know, when the man is too, as <laughs> queen, when men are too um, out of this world, talking about their physical appearance, people tend to call them beautiful. Uh, these two handsome young men are going to be doing subject to our discussion for this edition of the program. As I said before, we're talking about the, so the call for the Sovereign National Conference in Nigeria. And uh, these two gentlemen, um, quickly, I'm going to introduce my friend. He's my friend, he's my brother, he's a sportcaster and he's a commentator on issues such as this. Mr. Promise Maureen Oeta. You're welcome to the program. It's a pleasure, frankly. All right. Um, Beside him is uh, someone that I, I like to call an activist. Uh, the guy, he protesting everywhere. But I, I, I hope you soon go to the Middle East to protest. <laughs> okay, um, he's, a, he's a student and he's a commentator on issues like this as well. And he's also an activist. Uh, his name is Mr. Imi Bere Gani Efiong. You're welcome to the program. Sir. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. All right, um, quickly, let's start with you, Mr. Gani, before we come to you. Many people in this part of the world don't basically understand a thing about the Sovereign National Conference. So maybe you can enlighten us. Well, I, I think it is better to put it in perspective. When we say Sovereign National Conference, what we are simply saying is that the people of Nigeria should come together and discuss. A conference is usually a gathering of people where certain issues are tabled, certain issues are put before the people who hear their opinion, who will say what they believe, and at the end of the day, resolutions are made. So when we say sovereign national conference, the way sovereign here means that whatever decision will be arrived at at the gathering of the Nigerian people, that decision is binding and final. Meaning, it is not subject to the alteration of any other authority or person. That is the meaning of the word sovereign. When we say national, it means that all the parts of the country, all the ethnic groups in Nigeria, the labor, the civil society, the, the professional bodies, MBA, AUJ, the student bodies, the National Assembly, every stakeholder in the Nigerian project will come together to discuss. Meaning that all parts of the country will be integrated. And conference is simply a discussion ground. So there is no need mystifying the subject. We are simply saying Nigerians have the right to discuss. That's what we are saying. Okay, um, Mr. Promise, in this part of the globe, talking about in appointment now, many people don't understand a thing about the sovereign national conference. Why, why is it so? Well, basically, I think um, uh, we should understand firstly that the problems that we are facing in Nigeria is just more than the Soviet National Conference. Uh, for instance, uh, you would hear people say they've never heard that, they've never seen that. It wasn't done over the past couple of years. A passenger tried doing something that not it, but it was a sham. And we've not had this over the past couple of years. It's, it's very, very, uh, very, very misfortunate that we've not been able to have something of this nature. And it's going to be hard to convince people to adopt to uh, this particular uh, uh, phenomenon. I know it's a great thing, it's a nice thing when people come out to discuss their grievances. Uh, a lot of people come out and share ideas. Uh, someone from the north, someone from the south, they will come out and you bring your own perspective. This one brings his own perspective, mesh together and come out with a resolution. But it's hard for people of, uh, people, uh, like people of Okwakum State, particularly the ones that uh, we helped previously, we were under Cross River State. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've not actually had one uh, on our tenant, but I believe we can still do something. I, I spoke with a couple of people yesterday. We can have a sovereign national conference, uh, let's say sovereign, we can say sovereign local conference at the local government level. Get to the state, we talk about the federal. It's practically very hard to convince the locals to accept this, just um, like uh, what we're discussing now. So it's hard for the local man in the village and that local farmer in the, in the rural uh, community to understand what we're actually saying. But if we take it to the local Populace, it will actually pass a message okay. from there they will embrace. Okay, uh, Mr. Ghani, you said that the Sovereign National Conference will answer two questions <laughs> whether Nigeria should stay together and if we're going to split into how many parts. Yeah. Did you still stay with that or you have a contrary view? No, I, I cannot have a contrary view. You cannot have a marriage without a discussion. What happened in 1914? Some of us are insisting it's a fraud because you, you, you cannot bring. People that are genetically different. Let's leave this fallacy. We are one people. It's not true. The other man had his own interest. The evil man had his own interest. 
the BBO man has a very interest. The job person has a very agitation. So my position is this. Sovereign National Conference is the coming together of the Nigerian people to look at what Lord Lugar did in 1914. The amalgamation of the Northern and Southern Protectorate. My forefathers were not consulted. I don't know about your forefathers, but I believe they were not consulted. <laughs> so so if, if for any reason the union of this country should go together, let us come together and say, should we remain together? I'm kind of optimistic that the majority will say yes. But if the answer is the affirmative, on what condition? But if you say no, into how many parts should be split? That has been my position. And that will continue to remain my position. Because you cannot say we are one Nigeria. If they fall us, look at what is happening in the north. Some people are killing because they believe in Sharia. Boko Haram is killing because they say they believe in Sharia. If they believe in Sharia, let them come to the conference and persuade us. It's a matter of dialogue. Sovereign National Conference is a national dialogue. So the only alternative to Sovereign National Conference is a war. So it's that we discuss or we fight. Well, but basically, I've got to add to what yes, you said. Yes, yes. Right, right. your thoughts on that. No, and, and Nigeria is a country made of six geopolitical zones. And if we actually split it from, from the, on the records, we are going to split into six places. Uh, before 1959, when we had the oil boom, the mainstay of the nation's economy was on agriculture. Okay. The bulk of people invested so much in agriculture. People from this part of the world, the south, south, the southwest, and the southeast, were looking for alternative means to make, to, to make their own resources and money. Uh, but after the oil boom of 1959, you know, uh, all was discovered in Lower uh, uh, River State. Yeah. Um, a lot of issues came and came on board. They, they not, the Northerners abandoned. Sorry to say this, they abandoned agriculture, bought oil wells and some other stuffs. Now it's come to a point where uh, uh, people are saying Nigeria should disintegrate into these six geopolitical zones. But I'm looking at it from a resource perspective. What has the North done? What can you find in Abuja, Kaduna? that can keep Abuja and Canada running. What can you find in Lagos? Lagos is a commercial center of Nigeria, no doubt about that. They can make their money from some sources. What can you find in Rivers and Akwai that can make the South South keep running for the next couple of years? What can you find in Benue and Tarama states? These are questions we need to ask ourselves. I'm not against the fact that Nigeria should split or not, but we need to see how will these six geopolitical zones sustain their respective economies. Okay, um, let me quickly, I, I, I'll still stay with you. Now, people have come out to say that this is the solution to Nigeria's problem. Talking about the call for a national, uh, sovereign national conference. Do you agree? Well, I would agree in a way. And you disagree in another disagree way? Disagree in another way. The problem of Nigeria is vast and just more than the, the sovereign national conference. We have economic crisis currently just that we've got oil, that's why we're not feeling that. We have problem as we on strike. That's a big one. The universities have been closed for more than two months. Three months. Uh, uh, we have problems in the petroleum industry. No refinery is working. That's we've got problems uh, also from, from, from an employment perspective. Bulk of youths are not employed. We have more than 70% of unemployed youths across the country. There are big issues, more than the sovereign national countries. We need to streamline and know what are the indices, what are the stuff that we will discuss when there is a call for the national, sovereign national countries. I read a paper, the president of the country, uh, good luck, Jonathan, is working on modalities to make sure that we have a sovereign national conference. But what and what will be discussed? As it affects the poor man and the poor woman in the village. Not in the streets, the streets is town. I'm particularly, I'm particularly interested in the rural community because that's where you find the abject poverty mm. where people cannot I'm not afraid to say this there are places you go to in this state or some other states in Nigeria and you find that people cannot I know we normally say one dollar an average Nigerian should make one dollar or not but you find some places people are, cannot boast of ten naira in a day that's not even up to one dollar that's not even up to one dollar so it's, it's a big problem we have to know the indices. Let people come to the drawing board. What are the issues that we will discuss? And what will be the projection based on these discussions for the future? Okay, um, Mr. Ghani, let, let me come to you now. Now, do you think that the Sovereign National Conference can serve as a powerful alternative to the protests and the rest that are happening now? Well, I, we have never 
falling to the illusion that the Soviet National Conference will solve all the problems of this country in quote, all the problems there. But we have come to appreciate one fact, that yes, the major issue is leadership, like the late achievement said. That the problem with Nigeria is not the Nigerian air, it's not the land, it's not the atmosphere. It's leadership. We have appreciated that fact. But even with the issue of leadership, we have recognized that there are structural issues in this country. There are a lot of hypocrisy here and there. For me as a person, my brother was talking about what to be discussed. We know what to discuss. We are looking at certain issues. One, resource control is very, very important. Two, Sharia. We can't shy away from it. Three, state creation. Three, fourth, sorry, what type of government? The presidential system, is it doing us any good? And which can we revert back to the parliamentary system? Do we need a bicameral legislature? By that I mean, do we have, need to have a Senate and a House of Reps? Which one is more profitable to the Nigerian people? Because some of us are saying... it's cost effective. Yes, yeah, some, yes. <laughs> some of us are saying, why do you have 109 senators, 260 members of the House of Reps? Any over a trillion naira. Over a trillion, like Okun Jewela said, for some years now. And we are talking about a country with 18,000. It's minimum wage, which some states cannot pay. So my brother was saying the ordinary man. The ordinary man, man is interested in knowing what are the politicians that taking on. And you don't tell me that the National Assembly can address these questions. They cannot. They cannot. The National Assembly cannot preside over the determination of its own destiny. So it is the Nigerian people that will decide the type of government they want. It's the Nigerian people that will decide the type of constitution they want. Because we are here to have a constitution. What, what, why did you say so? Because we, we, we have a constitution that says we, the entire people of Nigeria, oh, 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 in the oh, Nigerian oh, oh. constitution, and you are a lawyer. Well, I'm a law student, sorry, and I will soon be a lawyer. But that's the point is, the constitution is the document that tells a lie about itself. I am a student of conditional law. I have done some good research in conditional law. What we call 1999 constitution is a product of military dictatorship. It's degree 24 of 1999. The condition is the decree. So when people begin to make noise that, look, you'll be subverting the condition by holding a Soviet national conference, I pity them because they don't know what they're saying. They don't know what they're saying. The condition that we are having never emanated from the people. We were never consulted. Our opinions was not sought. Some people just sat down in Kaki and drafted a document, throw in, use their, the, the power of the gun to impose it on the people. So we are going back to the Soviet national conference to produce a people's condition for Nigeria. Until we do that, there is no condition. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but basically, I, I, I want to add something. I remember in 2009 in Spain, precisely, they had a problem close to each. Um, um, they couldn't have a Soviet national conference. The way they, 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 the, the Europeans call it, they, they call it referendum. Mm -hmm. People go to the street and vote for and against. That's not a political election. I was discussing with someone, isn't that but possible but in Nigeria? Can, 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 do you think that would be effective in Nigeria? Because well, Nigeria no, we have a society that, because that's if, 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 at a slap of your finger, everything can be just be manipulated. You. Yes, that's, that's true in a way, but I, I feel there should be a referendum to determine the magnitude and the number of people that want this sovereign national conference. I may want it as an individual, you may not be in support of that. The next person may not like that. Four to five people after that may like it. But then there's got to be a kind of deterministic model, like a vote mm -hmm. from a referendum, to determine who and who wants this. From there, a gross analysis is done, and we get to know exactly. I, I, I'm not against it. I'm not against the Soviet National Conference. But it's, it, you have to look at Nigeria. Nigeria is a complex country, mm -hmm. absolutely complex country. We have illiterate. Educated illiterates, educated people. <laughs> they are free why, 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 why is this of people? Them? We've got. How can someone people, be educated and be interested? Yeah, there them. are people who. Uh, the school system pass through them. Okay. They have been passing through them. Okay. Okay. I don't know how they got their certificates or all of that. I've seen a couple of them. But Nigeria is a complex state, complex country. We need. We, I don't know how possible we can have a referendum. Yeah. When people go out there to. Cast ballots. I want this, I want that. At the end of the day, everything is tallied together and the statistical analysis is done to determine who and who wants this. But it's hard. In any well, kind of country we are. Well, I, my brother, I, I want to 
I'm not disagreeing with you actually, but let us appreciate one fact. When we say sovereign national conference, what are we talking about? You cannot have, I, I recall a, the, the other day, I was having a serious argument with some people who were asking me, rationalize your point. Tell me who will be the members of the sovereign national conference. Tell me, they were asking me for the criteria, the funding, and by my own knowledge, I made my proposals. It is not, a, it's not, it is not President Jonathan that will determine the membership, no. No. It is very simple. All the president needs to do is inaugurate a presidential committee on national dialogue. It's simple. Are, are, are we not going to go back? Are, are we not going to throw a ball and the ball hits the wall and comes back to us? Is, is that what you, are we, from what you're saying, are we not going to go back to that system? No. The fear is there. Here the fear will always be there. As I said the other day, that look, we Nigeria should appreciate the circumstances of the emergence of the Jonathan presidency. We should clearly look at how this man became the president of Nigeria. And I'm saying that it will be a mistake of history if Jonathan does not organize the Sovereign National Conference. He will not appreciate the historicity of his emergence. And if he does not do it, another person will do it. Because, yes, if an internal man is the president of Nigeria today, and some people are saying, if by 2015, the not, in quotes, they are not, does not produce the president, there will be war. So, if you are saying there will be war, why not come to the National Conference and let us talk? And you see the hypocrisy. So go to the president to say, no, 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 he will not determine the membership. It is Nigeria that will elect every ethnic group in Nigeria. It is not. Will now vote and send their representative to the National to the Soviet National Conference. It's not Jonathan that will determine the membership. Well, according to subsection 3, uh, section 3, subsection 6 of the 1999 constitution, I just got, uh, went through that this morning. I, I observed that uh, the 774 local government areas in Nigeria will, if we have sovereign national conference, should have at least three okay. participants in the program. Like you say, Nigeria is a complex country. Because, because I, 